It was made on March 18th and is being called the Turks and Caicos Islands Interim Amendment Order 2009. The document that was laid before the British Parliament yesterday specifically outlines the rules under which the country will be guided under its interim leader, the Governor, His Excellency Gordon Weatherall. As previously reported under the amended Constitution, Cabinet will cease to exist. The House of Assembly will be dissolved and the Governor, along with an advisory council, will be in charge of the Turks and Caicos Islands for two years from the date the amended Constitution comes into effect unless it is forced to continue or is revoked by an order in council. According to the amended constitution, Turks and Caicos Islanders will not be completely shut out of the running of the country once in effect. Five belongers will be appointed to the advisory council along with the governor, the deputy governor, the chief executive, the attorney general, the permanent secretary of finance, and two other persons. Under the amended constitution, no person shall be appointed as a nominated member who has been adjudged or otherwise declared bankrupt under any law in force in the Commonwealth and has not been discharged, is a person certified to be insane or otherwise adjudged to be of unsound mind under any law in force in the islands, is under sentence of death imposed on him or her by a court of law in any country, is a party to or a partner in a firm or director or manager of a company which is a party to any contract with the government and has not disclosed to the governor in writing the nature of such a contract and his or her interest or the interest of such firm or company in it. Also with regard to a term that was brought out repeatedly during the Commission of Inquiry hearings, the Register of Interest, all members of the Advisory Council will be bound by the regulations regarding their obligations to completing the Register of Interest required under the current TCI Constitution. So what exactly will the Advisory Council's job be? Well, according to the amended Constitution, the Governor may or may not consult with the members of the Council on the formulation of policy and, quote, in the exercise of any function conferred upon him or her by the Constitution or any other law. Turks and Caicos Islanders will also be included in what is termed under the amended Constitution as a consultative forum along with the Chief Executive, Attorney General, and the Permanent Secretary of Finance, between 11 and 15 members representative of the community will be appointed by the Governor to make recommendations on bills, legislation, government policies, or any other matter brought up by a member of the forum. There is currently no set date for the implementation of the amended Constitution. A complete outline of the Constitution may be found at the URL posted on the screen. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.